What's going on? It's your boy Trey. I'm here. Oh man, this is crazy. I don't even know how to show y'all this. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so there's this woman on here. She's very much a feminist. She puts it in her bio anyway. International law feminist making. Uh, she put up something interesting. I had seen her put up some posts before, and I just wanted to get y'all's thoughts on it. Like, I don't have a really strong, strong opinion on this um, because, I mean, I do have a strong opinion on this, but it, it's not like this tweet bothered me, but I really want to know what y'all think about it. So let's take a read. What men do not understand is that middle-aged women have the pent-up rage of a lifetime of male sexual harassment and violence and want to spare young women the same history. It is sad that many young women do not understand it either, but they are literally in the fog of war. Sounds absolute, a guy says. Any woman not have this experience? I don't know. Mother, sister, wife, daughter, just men that love and protect you? Just asking. And this woman goes on to say, I do not believe... Any woman, I mean, any woman has never suffered. You don't believe that any woman has never suffered any form of harassment? It's like, that's an absolute statement. And this is the kind of people that get on my nerve. And she said 99% of sex offending is committed by males. I just want to see the comment on that real quick. I didn't actually read this part. I read the rest of it, but... Men get assaulted too. A lot don't get reported because they get shamed and laughed at. Women are way more touchy feely than most men. There's there there are some aggressive men, but it's not all of them. That ninety nine percent really isn't correct. When the men are just told the to man up and suck it up, you do not understand statistics, do you? Most women are embarrassed to report anything. I never reported my ex for his abuse. I never reported that man that was jacking off in front of me. I did not report any of my. You know what? And a stalker and were broken into my house. Seems most women let the smaller things slide. Just not worth the hassle. Where are you getting that number from? That's what I'm wondering. You can't just throw out a statistic like that and, not, and then not at least back that because that's a strong statistic. Of which, of which of these offenders are 3% of the po male population? But you can have your bouts of which the offenders are about 3% of the male population. I just want to talk about that right quick. When people say that, even if they throw out this big number to say 99% of men uh, do the violent crimes, like, yeah, but that's 3% of the male population. Y'all act like it's all of the male population doing that. You know, you're taking a small part of the male population and then saying that all men are that way. That's not fair. Just because you say, that's like saying, well, 100% of elephants eat peanuts, right? Oh, no, no, that's not a good situation. What would what, be a good answer? I, I don't know what uh, another statistic I could even make make that sense. Oh, okay, okay. 100% of, let's just make up something, 100% of white people eat cheese. 100% uh, of white people have constipation. All right, let's just say that. Yeah, but, and, and it's because of dairy. 100% of white people have constipation because of dairy. And then they say, well, but, okay, that's fine, but only 3% of the white population eats dairy. Right? It sounds manipulative. Saying 100% of white people have constipation due to cheese, but only 3% of that white population eats cheese. So to say that 99% of men commit violent crimes, but only 3% of the entire male, male population commits those crimes. You're making it seem like it's a vast majority of men doing it. They are committed by a small percentage of male. I agree that it's an easy statistic quote. I don't condone sexual violence in any way. However, don't you think it's wrong to subject a man to a sexualist relationship? How happens happens often and not so easy to quantify. I, see, people, these people. And so when she said that women have a middle age, have a pent up rage of a lifetime of male sexual harassment. So you're saying 3% of the male population ha is responsible for a hundred percent of the pent up rage women have. A hundred percent of that, and they and they say they don't want they want to spare women uh, the same here. I hate that too. I hate that too because that's what I have a problem with. Because when women like this bring up this kind of stuff that men are just violent and we're just um, just we're just over here just taking people's lives, and we're over here smacking people around. Because what happens anytime you hear somebody when a woman says they want to be a traditional housewife, she wants to stay home cook, clean, and all that kind of stuff. One, they call her a slave. Um, and then they say, uh, 
um, women shouldn't have to do that. And the reason women want to go go out and get careers and get jobs, and the reason some women are single, y'all see this more in the black culture, but let's just call it everybody for now. But these women no longer want to do this stuff because they don't want to put up the BS. Back in the day, they just got beat to the ground, and every day they walked around, men were just slapping them. Like, that's not true. It's blankly not true. Men were not in mass beating every woman they married. Y'all think that's what they want y'all to think is that men back then, because there were men who beat women back then, that they think all men did that. That there were no good men. No no man at all would beat his didn't put his hand on a woman. If you were to say that, there's no way it would have ever not became law. I'm sorry. If men at a 90% rate were beating women back in the 50s, in the 1920s, if they were beating women at a 90% rate, I guarantee you they're never going to vote. They're never going to get any rights. There's no way you can go against a 90% kind of ideology. What normally happens is that when people decide to say, hey, let's let women vote or let's let women do this, it's because the vast majority of people think women are have normal rights. It's not because 90% of the men are beating women and that small 10% had a voice. No, it's because most people are thinking, you know, you may have a point because most men weren't beating their women. So they were like, yeah, let them vote. Oh, yeah, let them have jobs. Yeah, let them do this because most men weren't thinking that way. Most men didn't think women should be under their feet. So obviously, if not, if most men didn't think that way, how would the majority have ever got voted in? Who do you think voted those laws in? The men did. The men are the one who gave women the right to vote. Let's just be honest with ourselves. If the men said no, it would have never happened. That means the vote majority of men thought it was okay, right? As much as y'all want to believe, sometimes the government does have control over us. But for the vast majority of what I can see in history, when things start to go awry, the people of America tend to stand up and things tend to go the right way, eventually. Will that always happen? I don't know, okay? But are there things that we're blind to? I'm sure there are elitists. I, you know, I can't get into everything. I've never been a billionaire. This stuff, I don't know, okay? It's just, it's true. But the, the, the lie that keeps getting perpetuated that men beat women in mass and... It, they act like men are just dogs, like on a leash. Just if you just let us loose, we just start. <laughs> if you just let us loose, we'll beat every woman we get with. And most men aren't like that. Most men weren't like that back then. Now, did they get in trouble back then for beating women? <laughs> Maybe not as bad. Maybe it wasn't as bad, right? Maybe men didn't, they didn't look upon it as badly as we do today. But that also doesn't mean that men were just beating women any chance they got back then. That's just not true. Because if that was the truth, every grandma and grandpa we saw together today, she'd be battered, right? How would she have made it if she was getting beaten every single day of her life for 70 years? Y'all don't really see that with old folks. They don't normally go, yeah, my husband was beating me every second. Every time he turned around, he was slapping me. You know, it just wasn't like that, guys. Stop believing the lie. Stop believing the lie. Y'all may notice that every time I start a video, the song that you guys hear is Good Lies. Go look up the lyrics to that song. You're Good Lies. It's, 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 it's a really good message. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, is this crazy? Is this wild? Or you think men are, Do you think women are just traumatized from men just harassing them every time they turn around? Or you think this this woman is being a little uh, embellishing it a little bit because only three percent of the population is even like that of the male population, right? Y'all, let me know. We just talked about what JT did to little Uzi. So to say that all men are her, okay, y'all got it. See y'all, peace.